What is the book of dough? The book of dough is a 7th century Christian gospel book. Most likely made at a monastery on the island of Iona in Scotland. The beautifully decorated book of dough includes the text of the four gospels of the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Each section begins with a carpet page, or a full page illustration, representing each saint's symbol. For example, the carpet page of the Gospel of Saint Matthew is decorated with the symbol of the man. In this illumination, the figure is covered in a colorful, yet flat, checkered cloak that completely obscures any sense of a three dimensional body underneath. Rather sullen, the figure has no visible arms, and seems to float in the center of page. Surrounded by an interlaced, ribbon-like design which forms a frame around the page. Not particularly lifelike, the representation of the St. Matthew's symbol in the Book of Doe is characteristic of much medieval art from this time period. Simple, flat, and colorful. Who was Emperor Justinian? Emperor Justinian was one of the most powerful and important rulers of the early Byzantine Empire and was responsible for large-scale building projects. Centered in the city of Constantinople, and in Byzantine territories in Italy. The Church of San Vital in Ravenna, on the eastern coast of Italy. Contains large mosaics dedicated to Justinian. Completed around 547 CE and placed in a central location in the church. Emperor Justinian and his attendants is one of the most impressive Byzantine mosaic from the period and features realistically modeled figures composed against a golden background and framed within an abstract, geometric pattern of glass tile. The haloed figure of Justinian is in the center, flanked by his ecclesiastical personnel on his left, and both civil and military personnel on his right. The soldiers are grouped behind a large shield decorated with the Greek letters XP. Representing Christ. The church officials on his right hold a jeweled cross and a gospel book. Wearing long purple robes that indicate his power, and visually align him with images of Christ. Justinian wears ornate crown jewels and carries a vessel containing bread for the mass held in the church. Against the glittering gold background. It is as if the emperor and his attendants hover in a detached, spiritual realm. Emperor Justinian is clearly in charge of this far-flung Byzantine outpost. Even if he never actually visited Ravenna during his lifetime. What is Viking art? The term Viking art or Norse art refers to the art produced by the peoples of Scandinavia which includes modern-day Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Much like Anglo-Saxon and Hiberno-Saxon art, Viking art featured the animal style. 
Early medieval Scandinavians also practiced memorial ship burials in which important people were buried at sea with their valuable earthly goods. The burial ship from Osberg, Norway, c. 834, was over 75 feet long, and contained the interred bodies of two women. As well the skeletons of around 10 horses. The front and back of the ship, the prow and stern, were formed into large spirals and the ship itself is covered in intricate animal carvings, including dragons, which were popular motifs in Viking art. What is the Sudden Who ship? The Sutton Who ship is an Anglo-Saxon burial ship. Discovered off the coast of England in 1939. The ship likely belonged to King Raedwald who died in 625. And was purposefully sunk as a funerary memorial to an important person. No body was ever found aboard the Sutton Who ship, however. So it is possible the ship served as a monument to someone who was buried in another location. The ship was over 90 feet long and filled with early medieval treasure. Such as gold coins, armor, and jewel encrusted accessories. The objects found with the Sutton Who ship represent some. Of the most valuable examples of medieval Anglo Saxon art. What is Byzantine art? During the 4th century, Roman Emperor Constantine moved the capital of the empire from Rome to Byzantium. In modern-day Turkey, and named the new capital city, not immodestly, Constantinople. After the western portion of the Roman Empire fell in 476 CE, Constantinople became the major art center of this eastern empire, which included areas of Turkey, Greece, Italy, and Eastern Europe, and portions of North Africa. The people of this Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantine Empire, referred to themselves as Romanians and considered themselves the Second Rome. The Empire, and especially the city of Constantinople, was immensely powerful. Surviving longer than any other imperial power except for Egypt. Byzantine art was monumental in scope, richly decorated, and influenced by both Eastern and Western traditions. Common forms of Byzantine art include brightly colored mosaics. Icon paintings, illuminated manuscripts, and monumental architecture. What is Yoman pottery? The Japanese Yoman culture, see. 10,000 to 300 BCE, was a settled hunter-gatherer society with a long-standing tradition of clay pottery. Yoman pottery from the middle and later periods are very creative. And the clay was pulled and twisted into unique forms. Animalistic pieces called dagu. 
are likely effigies of the people who own them, and are highly abstracted. Some have large, heart-shaped faces, long twisting arms, and even markings similar to tattoos. What is a centrally planned church? A centrally planned church is a church with the altar at the center and was often used for baptisteries or tombs. The Church of Santa Costanza is an example of a centrally planned church featuring a central altar surrounded by an ambulatory. The ambulatory is made up of paired Corinthian columns. The Church of Santa Costanza was originally covered in elaborate mosaics and marble. What is the difference between Hiberno-Saxon art and Anglo-Saxon art? The term Hiberno-Saxon art refers to non-Christian, pagan, art produced after the fall of the Roman Empire by the Irish. Known as Hibernians, and the Anglo-Saxon peoples of southern England. While Anglo-Saxon art also refers to early medieval art of the British Isles. It is more closely associated with Christian themes and subject matter. Both of these terms are used by art historians when referring to art produced from around 600 to 1066. The date of the Norman conquest of Britain. What is Islamic art? This is particularly challenging question to answer. The religion of Islam began in the Middle East during the 7th century and quickly spread east across Central Asia to parts of China and Southeast Asia and west into large areas of North and Central Africa and Europe. The term Islamic art does not necessarily indicate that the art is religious in subject matter, but refers to art produced by cultures that practice Islam. Islamic art is therefore incredibly diverse, and influenced by both religion and secular cultural values. Some of the most common types of Islamic art include carpets and tapestries. Calligraphy, book decoration, metalwork, and architecture. What is the animal style? Animal style is a term art historians use to describe the zoomorphic or animal based. Design motifs popular among Anglo-Saxon artisans during the medieval period. In the animal style, abstract animal motifs merge with geometric and organic motifs. Creating a lively and intricate pattern, especially in metalwork. One of the most famous examples of the animal style is a purse cover from the Sutton Hoo burial ship. The purse cover is about 8 inches long and would have been used to cover a leather pouch for carrying coins. The purse was designed with interweaving bands of gold. 
surrounding deep blue and red plagues of enamel and garnet. A pair of highly stylized human figures with splayed legs are each flanked by a pair of wolves. Serpentine lines undulate around the curving form of the purse cover, broken into rhythmic rectangles. A study of Anglo-Saxon decorative arts, such as the Sutton Hoo purse cover, show the influence of many medieval cultures, such as Germanic tribes, Vikings, and Christians. What is the Silla Crown? Though influenced by the art and culture of China, Korean art is distinct and has a long history. Around 100 BCE a kingdom known as the Silla Kingdom took control over most of the Korean peninsula. The Silla crown is a gold and jade headpiece likely made somewhere between the 5th and 6th. Century CE made from sheets of gold and adorned with jewels and spangles. The upright styling of the crown has been linked to either trees or antlers, which symbolize life and supernatural power. It is possible that this crown was either ceremonial, or never meant to be worn at all. What is the Raimondi Stila? The Raimondi Stila depicts a human-like jaguar deity and is an example of Chavin-style art from the Peruvian Andes in South America. The Chavin culture, considered a mother culture to later Peru, developed between 1500 and 300 BCE. And Chavin-style art emphasized complex abstract patterns and featured animals such as jaguars and eagles. The jaguar creature carved on the Raimondi Stila is known as the Staff God. It is depicted wearing an elaborate headdress made from stacked, serpentine monster heads. This interweaving image emphasizes balance and symmetry in its abstract design. What is a bi disc? Although these circular pendants look like they could be worn as jewelry. They are much too bulky and heavy for such a purpose. Instead, they were likely used in ritual worship of the sky. Bi, pronounced B, discs were made of nephrite, a greenish stone similar to jade. Some were smooth, displaying only traces of the tool marks used to shape them. While others were elaborately decorated. A bi disc from the Zhou Dynasty, 1100 to 221 BCE, was discovered in a tomb near Luoyang, China, and is intricately carved with dragons. The ancient Chinese regarded dragons as symbols of power who were thought to pass between heaven and earth and to bring rain. It would have taken many hours of difficult work to grind and polish the dragons and other abstract designs on the Joe Bai disc. What is an illuminated manuscript? An illuminated manuscript is an illustrated book, 
and was one of the most important forms of art in medieval Europe. And elsewhere, including the Islamic Empire. During the early Middle Ages, European illuminated manuscripts were an important part of Christian missionary activities. And Christian monasteries were at the heart of manuscript production. Specially trained monks, called scribes, wrote text on two different types of animal skin. Vellum and parchment, as paper was not common until the 15th century. Medieval illuminators supplemented the text with colorful decoration. Often designing large initials and full color illustrations that took up an entire page. Illuminated manuscripts were very labor-intensive and expensive. The ink alone was worth as much as a semi-precious stone. And sometimes gold leaf was used in the decoration. Manuscripts were sometimes protected with expensive jewel-encrusted covers, such as the cover of the Lindau Gospels. What are the colossal heads of the Almec? Often considered to be the mother culture of Mesoamerica, the Almecs flourished between 1200 to 600 B. CE in present day Mexico. The Almec society left behind no written language. But their monumental art indicates that the culture was highly stratified, with clearly defined social classes. The colossal heads found at San Lorenzo in Veracruz are one of the most recognizable monumental art forms in the Americas. Made of basalt, the colossal heads weigh between 5 and 20 tons each. Up to 8 feet tall, the heavy-featured sculptures have broad noses and thick lips. The heads wear helmets with ear flaps and straps under the chin. Scholars believe they represent rulers or historic figures important to the Almec culture. What are the catacombs of Camodilla? These catacombs were used for Christian burials as early as the 4th century. Smaller loculi, or rectangular niches, held between two or three bodies. But larger, and more expensive, Cubicula held the sarcophagi of wealthier families. The cubicula were plastered and painted with Christian imagery. Many of the images found in the catabombs of Camodilla emphasize the Eucharist. The ritual consumption of bread and wine, the bread and body of Christ. Other Popular images include the Good Shepherd and images of Jonah and the whale. In this story, Jonah was thrown overboard while at sea and was consumed by a whale. Three days later, he was cast back out, unharmed. The story reflects themes of the resurrection as well as rebirth and salvation. What are some of the most important Christian symbols in art? Dove, a symbol of purity and peace. The dove can also symbolize the Holy Spirit of the Christian Trinity. 
lamb, the lamb represents sacrifice. Jesus Christ is referred to as the Lamb of God as he was sacrificed on behalf of humanity. A flock of sheep, by contrast, represents Christian worshippers who are protected by Christ. The Good Shepherd Cross, this is the most prominent symbol of Christianity and it symbolizes the wooden beams used to Crucify Jesus Christ it is both a symbol of Christ's suffering, as well as Christ's triumph and resurrection. Four Evangelists The four evangelists are also referred to as the four Gospels as they wrote the Gospels in the New Testament of the Bible. Each of them is often represented with a particular symbol or attribute. Saint Matthew is shown as a man or angel, Saint Mark is a lion. Saint Luke is an ox, Saint John is an eagle. What is a Byzantine icon? In Greek, the word icon means image and it is an important part of religious worship in the Orthodox Christian Church. An icon is a sacred representation of a holy person usually a saint, Christ, or the Virgin Mary. Byzantine icons were usually painted on wooden panels but also included ivory, mosaics, textiles, and more. Icons held powerful religious significance some icons were even linked to miracles. Towards the end of the 6th century, a conservative group of iconoclasts, literally image smashers, worried that the icons themselves were being worshipped and icons became targets for destruction during the iconoclastic controversy in the 8th century. Why is St. Mark's Basilica in Venice considered an example of Byzantine architecture? During the pre-modern era, the Italian city of Venice had many political and cultural ties to the regions east of Italy, and was therefore quite influenced by the culture and art of the Byzantine Empire. St. Mark's Basilica is a grand architectural example of this influence, and was especially inspired by the Church of the Holy Apostles in Constantinople. The Basilica, whose chapel holds the relics of St. Mark the Apostle, is divided into five sections, each topped with a dome. The interior walls are covered in marble and over 8,000 square feet of glittering mosaics, many of which illustrate stories from the life of St. Mark. The style is similar to that of Byzantine mosaic designs found at San Vital in Ravenna and other Eastern European churches. The mosaics were a work in progress for hundreds of years, and the basilica was consecrated as a cathedral in 1807. Why is medieval European painting so bad? There is no question medieval painting is not particularly realistic. Much of it is simplistic, flat, and lacks natural proportion.
What is the God's Cal Gospel Lectionary? The God's Cal Gospel Lectionary was one of the first Carolingian illuminated manuscripts to use the New Caroline script and was named for a scribe who signed his name in the book. Produced at the court scriptorium at Aachen, it was meant to be read aloud and commemorated the 781 baptism of Charlemagne's son. The God's Calc Gospel Lectionary is notable for its artistic naturalism and incorporation of ancient Roman styles. The luxurious manuscript, with gold and silver lettering, and extensive use of the color purple. One of the most expensive pigments, served as an artistic inspiration and a model for later gospel books. What is the God's Calc Gospel Lectionary? The God's Calc Gospel Lectionary was one of the first Carolingian illuminated manuscripts to use the New Caroline script and was named for a scribe who signed his name in the book. Produced at the court scriptorium at Aachen, it was meant to be read aloud and commemorated the 781 baptism of Charlemagne's son. The God's Calc Gospel Lectionary is notable for its artistic naturalism and incorporation of ancient Roman styles. The luxurious manuscript, with gold and silver lettering, and extensive use of the color purple. One of the most expensive pigments, served as an artistic inspiration and a model for later gospel books. What is Medieval Expressionism? Medieval Expressionism was a style that emphasized the communication of feeling and emotion. The page with St. Matthew from the Gospel Book of Ebo, illustrates a scene in which St. Matthew sits at his desk frantically writing, his face twisted with intense emotion. St. Matthew's robe, hair, and the sharply bending grasses in the background are made up of repeated linear flourishes. It seems as though Matthew, hunched over and sporting triangular eyebrows, Fears divine inspiration will be lost if he does not immediately write down his evangelical text. This manuscript painting, done in gold and colored ink on vellum in the 9th century, is an example of medieval expressionism. The whole scene seems to be blowing in the wind, and the dramatic quality of the work expresses an emotional rather than purely intellectual element of the Gospels. What is Medieval Expressionism? Medieval Expressionism was a style that emphasized the communication of feeling and emotion. The page with St. Matthew from the Gospel Book of Ebo, illustrates a scene in which St. Matthew sits at his desk frantically writing, his face twisted with intense emotion. St. Matthew's robe, hair, 
and the sharply bending grasses in the background are made up of repeated linear flourishes. It seems as though Matthew, hunched over and sporting triangular eyebrows, fears divine inspiration will be lost if he does not immediately write down his evangelical text. This manuscript painting, done in gold and colored ink on vellum in the 9th century, is an example of medieval expressionism. The whole scene seems to be blowing in the wind, and the dramatic quality of the work expresses an emotional, rather than purely intellectual element of the Gospels. Why is the cover of the Lindau Gospels so luxurious? This astonishing book cover, decorated with pearls, sapphires, emeralds, garnet, and gold, was not originally intended for the 9th century Lindau Gospels. Though it has been associated with this manuscript since before the 16th century. The book cover was made at a monastic workshop during the reign of Charles the Bald. Charlemagne's grandson, who ruled from 840 to 877, and represents Christ on the cross. Christ is surrounded by mourning figures, but stands erect with his palms forward, and stares powerfully ahead. The work was made in a style known as repoussé. Which means the figures were hammered into low relief from the back of the metal cover. The fine gold reflects glittering light, and the jewels evoke heavenly Jerusalem. The obvious luxury of the cover indicates the inherent value of books during the medieval period. And the richness of the materials emphasize the triumph of Christ, foreshadowing the resurrection. Why is the cover of the Lindau Gospels so luxurious? This astonishing book cover, decorated with pearls, sapphires, emeralds, garnet, and gold, was not originally intended for the 9th century Lindau Gospels. Though it has been associated with this manuscript since before the 16th century. The book cover was made at a monastic workshop during the reign of Charles the Bald. Charlemagne's grandson, who ruled from 840 to 877, and represents Christ on the cross. Christ is surrounded by mourning figures but stands erect with his palms forward, and stares powerfully ahead. The work was made in a style known as repoussé, which means the figures were hammered into low relief from the back of the metal cover. The fine gold reflects glittering light, and the jewels evoke heavenly Jerusalem. The obvious luxury of the cover indicates the inherent value of books during the medieval period. And the richness of the materials emphasize the triumph of Christ, foreshadowing the resurrection. What is a Psalter? A Psalter is a book containing the text of the Book of Psalms from the Old Testament. The most famous Carolingian Psalter is the Utrecht Psalter, 
known for its lively ink drawings. The manuscript was produced at the Imperial Scriptorium in Reims. In modern day France, in the first half of the 9th century. The illustrations of the Utrecht Psalter incorporate architectural and landscape scenes. And the text features Roman style majuscules. As psalms are not narrative, they are challenging to illustrate. The artists who created the Utrecht Psalter illustrated them. By expressively visualizing specific phrases from the text. What is a Psalter? A Psalter is a book containing the text of the Book of Psalms from the Old Testament. The most famous Carolingian Psalter is the Utrecht Psalter, known for its lively ink drawings. The manuscript was produced at the Imperial Scriptorium in Reims. In modern day France, in the first half of the 9th century. The illustrations of the Utrecht Psalter incorporate architectural and landscape scenes. And the text features Roman style majuscules. As psalms are not narrative, they are challenging to illustrate. The artists who created the Utrecht Psalter illustrated them. By expressively visualizing specific phrases from the text. What is Autonian art? Autonian art is a term that refers to the art and architecture produced under a new powerful dynasty that established itself in the eastern portion of the Holy Roman Empire after the power of the Carolingian dynasty had faded. Three main rulers, Otto I, Otto II, and Otto III ruled from 919 to 1002 and were based in modern-day Germany. During the Ottonian period, the arts flourished and new innovations in architecture, metalwork, and ivory carving were key elements in the so-called Ottonian Renaissance. What is Ottonian art? Ottonian art is a term that refers to the art and architecture produced under a new powerful dynasty that established itself in the eastern portion of the Holy Roman Empire after the power of the Carolingian dynasty had faded. Three main rulers, Otto I, Otto II, and Otto III ruled from 919 to 1002 and were based in modern-day Germany. During the Ottonian period, the arts flourished and new innovations in architecture, metalwork, and ivory carving were key elements in the so-called Ottonian Renaissance. What are the main characteristics of Ottonian architecture? The Ottonian rulers emphasized their imperial strength and military prowess. Through the construction of monumental architecture reminiscent of ancient Rome. 
Churches of the period followed the basilica plan and featured wooden roofs, many of which burned down. The Church of St. Zariacus in Jern Road, Germany, begun in 961, is one of the best surviving examples of Ottonian architecture. The church architects placed a newfound focus on verticality, which foreshadowed the leaping heights of much later medieval buildings. The Church of St. Zariacus features a second floor gallery, clear story windows, and a west workay wall along the west end 74 of the nave, one of the key features of Ottonian church architecture. What are the main characteristics of Ottonian architecture? The Ottonian rulers emphasized their imperial strength and military prowess. Through the construction of monumental architecture reminiscent of ancient Rome. Churches of the period followed the basilica plan and featured wooden roofs, many of which burned down. The Church of St. Zariacus in Jern Road, Germany, begun in 961 is one of the best surviving examples of Ottonian architecture. The church architects placed a newfound focus on verticality, which foreshadowed the leaping heights of much later medieval buildings. The church of St. Zariacus features a second floor gallery, clear story windows and a west workay wall along the west end 74 of the nave, one of the key features of Ottonian church architecture. What was impressive about the doors of Bishop Burn Ward? The splendidly designed bronze doors of Bishop Bernward were built for the Abbey Church of St. Michael's in Hildesheim, Germany. The doors themselves are enormous over 16 feet tall and are the first example of monumental bronze sculpture made by the lost wax process since antiquity. Each door was made as one piece a remarkable technical feat. Considering the complex relief sculpture covering each door. Notable for their masterful metalwork, the doors are also impressive due to their complex narrative imagery, which outlines both Old and New Testament events. Each door is divided into eight panels, each representing a specific biblical scene. A design likely inspired from manuscript illumination. What was impressive about the doors of Bishop Burn Ward? The splendidly designed bronze doors of Bishop Bernward were built for the Abbey Church of St. Michael's in Hildesheim, Germany. The doors themselves are enormous over 16 feet tall and are the first example of monumental bronze sculpture made by the lost wax process since antiquity. Each door was made as one piece a remarkable technical feat. Considering the complex relief sculpture covering each door. Notable for their masterful metal work, the doors are also impressive due to their complex narrative imagery. Which outlines both Old and New Testament events.
Each door is divided into eight panels, each representing a specific biblical scene. A design likely inspired from manuscript illumination. What is the Jero crucifix? The Jero crucifix is a life-size sculpture depicting the body of Christ on the cross. Made of gilded and painted wood and meant to be suspended above an altar. The back of Christ's head was hollowed in order to hold communion bread used in the ritual of the Eucharist, as opposed to the triumphant pose of Christ as seen on the book cover of the Lindau Gospels. This representation of Christ emphasizes suffering. Christ's head hangs heavily and his body appears limp and frail. This is the first time in history that an image of dead Christ was depicted on the cross. What is the Jero crucifix? The Jero crucifix is a life-size sculpture depicting the body of Christ on the cross. Made of gilded and painted wood and meant to be suspended above an altar. The back of Christ's head was hollowed in order to hold communion bread used in the ritual. Of the Eucharist. As opposed to the triumphant pose of Christ as seen on the book cover of the Lindau Gospels. This representation of Christ emphasizes suffering. Christ's head hangs heavily and his body appears limp and frail. This is the first time in history that an image of dead Christ was depicted on the cross. What does a Hindu temple look like? Hindu temples are one of the primary examples of Hindu architecture in India and Southeast Asia. They are usually built of cut rock, and although there is a great deal of stylistic diversity, are generally placed within two categories, Northern and Southern style. Hindu temples are raised on a podium, somewhat like an Etruscan temple, called a plinth. Temples in the northern style feature a large tower in the shape of a beehive. Called Shikhara, which means mountain peak. Atop the tower is a rounded form known as an amulika because of the similarly shaped umla fruit. These amalekas are used to decorate lower portions of the Shikhara as well. The halls of a northern-style temple have a series of halls called mandapas, which lead to the Garbhagriha, an inner sanctuary used to house a sacred image. The halls are themselves decorated with smaller, tower-like roofs. An example of a northern-style Hindu temple is the Kandarya Mahadeva temple in Kajuraho, India which was built around 1000 CE southern style Hindu temples feature a pyramid like tiered tower called a vimana and this is topped with a round capstone the halls of a southern style temple also lead to an inner chamber but have flat roofs and pillared mandapas an example of a southern-style Hindu temple is the Rajarajvara temple in Tanjavur, India, which was built around 1010 CE.
What does a Hindu temple look like? Hindu temples are one of the primary examples of Hindu architecture in India and Southeast Asia. They are usually built of cut rock, and although there is a great deal of stylistic diversity, are generally placed within two categories, northern and southern style. Hindu temples are raised on a podium, somewhat like an Etruscan temple, called a plinth. Temples in the northern style feature a large tower in the shape of a beehive. Called Shikhara, which means mountain peak. Atop the tower is a rounded form known as an amulika because of the similarly shaped umla fruit. These amalekas are used to decorate lower portions of the Shikhara as well. The halls of a northern style temple have a series of halls called mandapas, which lead to the garbhagriha an inner sanctuary used to house a sacred image. The halls are themselves decorated with smaller, tower-like roofs. An example of a northern-style Hindu temple is the Kandarya Mahadeva temple in Kajuraho, India, which was built around 1000 CE southern-style Hindu temples feature a pyramid-like tiered tower called a vimana, and this is topped with a round capstone. The halls of a southern-style temple also lead to an inner chamber, but have flat roofs and pillared mandapas. An example of a southern-style Hindu temple is the Rajarajvara temple in Tanjavur, India which was built around 1010 CE. What is Angkor Wat? Angkor Wat is an enormous Hindu temple complex in Cambodia featuring a series of walled courtyards leading to a group of central towers. Built over 30 years by the Khmer King Suryavarman II during the first half of the 12th century. Angkor Wat's five lotus-shaped towers each symbolize peaks of Mount Meru. A mountain considered sacred in Hindu, Jain, and Buddhist traditions. The central tower is approximately 200 feet tall and the entire complex is aligned with the sun. So that on the summer solstice, the sun rises up directly over the central tower when viewed from the western gate. Suryavarman II's goal was to associate himself with the god Vishnu and the entire temple. Complex is covered in miles of relief carvings depicting the king and the many avatars of Vishnu. What is Angkor Wat? Angkor Wat is an enormous Hindu temple complex in Cambodia featuring a series of walled courtyards leading to a group of central towers. Built over 30 years by the Khmer King Suryavarman II during the first half of the 12th century. Angkor Wat's five lotus-shaped towers each symbolize peaks of Mount Meru. A mountain considered sacred in Hindu, Jain, and Buddhist traditions. The central tower is approximately 200 feet tall and the entire complex is aligned with the sun. So that on the summer solstice, 
The sun rises up directly over the central tower when viewed from the western gate. Suryavarman II's goal was to associate himself with the god Vishnu and the entire temple. Complex is covered in miles of relief carvings depicting the king and the many avatars of Vishnu. What does Jain art look like? Jainism is an important religion in India, in addition to Hinduism. Though only a small percentage of Indians are Jainists. Jainists believe in the cycle of death and rebirth, called samsara, and attempt to live pure. Ascetic lives by looking inwards, avoiding material possessions, and acting kindly to others. At first glance, it may be difficult to distinguish Jain art from Buddhist and Hindu art. But one of the key types of Jain art is monumental nudes of meditating warriors, known as Jinas. The ascetic Gamata in Karnataka, India, is an example of this. At around 60 feet tall, this 10th century, colossal sculpture represents Gamata who was famous for meditating for years without stopping. The figure of Gamata stands at attention with poised shoulders, confident chin, and stoic face. The sculpture's nudity, along with images of tree branches and creepers that curl around his limbs, are meant to emphasize the genus focus on spiritual, rather than material needs. Sculpture such as the, the ascetic Gamata is used to aid Jainists in their own meditations. What does Jain art look like? Jainism is an important religion in India in addition to Hinduism. Though only a small percentage of Indians are Jainists. Jainists believe in the cycle of death and rebirth, called samsara, and attempt to live pure. Ascetic lives by looking inwards, avoiding material possessions, and acting kindly to others. At first glance, it may be difficult to distinguish Jain art from Buddhist and Hindu art. But one of the key types of Jain art is monumental nudes of meditating warriors, known as Jinas. The ascetic Gamata in Karnataka, India, is an example of this. At around 60 feet tall, this 10th century, colossal sculpture represents Gamata who was famous for meditating for years without stopping. The figure of Gamata stands at attention with poised shoulders, confident chin, and stoic face. The sculpture's nudity, along with images of tree branches and creepers that curl around his limbs, are meant to emphasize the genus focus on spiritual, rather than material needs. Sculpture such as the, the ascetic Gamata is used to aid Jainists in their own meditations. What is the Gupta style? Associated with art produced during the reign of Gupta rulers, who ruled in eastern India from c. 320 to 450 CE, the Gupta style is characterized by naturalistic 
though idealized, images of the Buddha and Bodhisattvas in both painting and sculpture. A great example of the Gupta style is the wall painting of the Bodhisattva known as the beautiful Padmapani, painted in the late 5th century. Padmapani is shown as serene and relaxed, withdrawn from the material world swirling around him. Strong outlines emphasize the form of the figure. But the rest of the body is smooth and anatomically undefined. With downcast eyes, the painting exhibits the Gupta emphasis on naturalism. Balance and spiritual detachment. What is the Gupta style? Associated with art produced during the reign of Gupta rulers, who ruled in eastern India from c. 320 to 450 CE, the Gupta style is characterized by naturalistic. Though idealized, images of the Buddha and Bodhisattvas in both painting and sculpture. A great example of the Gupta style is the wall painting of the Bodhisattva known as the beautiful Padmapani, painted in the late 5th century. Padmapani is shown as serene and relaxed, withdrawn from the material world swirling around him. Strong outlines emphasize the form of the figure. But the rest of the body is smooth and anatomically undefined. With downcast eyes, the painting exhibits the Gupta emphasis on naturalism. Balance and spiritual detachment. What is the Gupta style? Associated with art produced during the reign of Gupta rulers, who ruled in eastern India from c. 320 to 450 CE, the Gupta style is characterized by naturalistic. Though idealized, images of the Buddha and Bodhisattvas in both painting and sculpture. A great example of the Gupta style is the wall painting of the Bodhisattva known as the beautiful Padmapani, painted in the late 5th century. Padmapani is shown as serene and relaxed, withdrawn from the material world swirling around him. Strong outlines emphasize the form of the figure. But the rest of the body is smooth and anatomically undefined. With downcast eyes, the painting exhibits the Gupta emphasis on naturalism. Balance and spiritual detachment. What is the God's Calc Gospel Lectionary? The God's Calc Gospel Lectionary was one of the first Carolingian illuminated manuscripts to use the New Caroline script and was named for a scribe who signed his name in the book. Produced at the court scriptorium at Aachen, it was meant to be read aloud and commemorated the 781 baptism of Charlemagne's son. The God's Calc Gospel Lectionary is notable for its artistic naturalism and incorporation of ancient Roman styles. 
the luxurious manuscript with gold and silver lettering, and extensive use of the color purple. One of the most expensive pigments, served as an artistic inspiration and a model for later gospel books. Who was Exequias? Greek vases from the classical period feature some of the most impressive paintings in the ancient world. And Exequias is considered to be one of the greatest vase painters of the time. Living in Athens during the 6th century BCE, Exequias painted in what is known as the black figure style, which places black figures on a red background. His work is noted for its grace and sense of order. One of his most famous pieces depicts Achilles and Ajax playing drafts. From c. 530 BCE, the scene takes place during a break in fighting during the Trojan. War when the mythological warriors pause to play a game of ancient checkers. The scene is very symmetrical and the arrangement of figures takes into account the swelling form of the vase itself. Exequias not only painted the vase, but he was also the potter. A signature on the piece reads, Exequias painted me and made me. What is a kouros? Kouros, plural kouroi, is a term used to refer to a freestanding sculpture of a young male during the archaic period of ancient Greek art. A female equivalent is known as a kore, plural kore. These statues were usually life-size and influenced by Egyptian sculpture. A kouros faces frontally and takes a small step forward, much like the sculpture of Menkor and a queen. The arms are held firmly at the sides and the hair is formed in long rows of stylized braids. Unlike Egyptian sculptures, male kouroi were completely nude and emphasized youth and athleticism. What is a mosque lamp? Mosque lamps are oil lamps, most closely associated with the medieval period. And characterized by a bulbous middle and flared top. Often enameled or made of glass, they are extremely fragile but well cared. For because the light of a mosque lamp was associated with the light of God. Many mosque lamps were commissioned by Mamluk sultans in Egypt during the 13th century and were inscribed with verses from the Quran. What is the Corinthian order? The Corinthian order was the last of the three classical Greek orders of architecture to develop. The tallest and most elaborate of the three orders, a Corinthian column is built at a ratio of approximately 13 1. Which means the height of the column is 13 times taller than the width. Originally designed for interior use. 
the Corinthian order features a capital decorated with flowers and leaves of the acanthus plant. While the Doric and Ionic order feature a cornice and tablature, the Corinthian entablature is flat. According to the Roman architect and writer Vitruvius, and later repeated by the Renaissance writer Vasari. The artist and poet Callimachus was inspired to design the Corinthian capital after seeing a basket of overgrown acanthus leaves placed in front of a young girl's grave in the Greek city-state of Corneth. The Temple of Olympian Zeus is a Hellenistic temple that was started using the Doric order, but finished years later using the Corinthian order. The temple's massive columns are over 55 feet high. Classically inspired modern buildings continue to incorporate the Corinthian design. Including the General Post Office in New York and the U.S. Capitol Building. Why is the cover of the Lindau Gospels so luxurious? This astonishing book cover, decorated with pearls, sapphires, emeralds, garnet, and gold, was not originally intended for the 9th century Lindau Gospels. Though it has been associated with this manuscript since before the 16th century. The book cover was made at a monastic workshop during the reign of Charles the Bald. Charlemagne's grandson, who ruled from 840 to 877, and represents Christ on the cross. Christ is surrounded by mourning figures but stands erect with his palms forward, and stares powerfully ahead. The work was made in a style known as repousse, which means the figures were hammered into low relief from the back of the metal cover. The fine gold reflects glittering light, and the jewels evoke heavenly Jerusalem. The obvious luxury of the cover indicates the inherent value of books during the medieval period. And the richness of the materials emphasize the triumph of Christ, foreshadowing the resurrection. What is medieval? The medieval period, also referred to as the Middle Ages, is the name given to the period of European history from the fall of the Western Roman Empire to the beginning of the Italian Renaissance in the 14th century. These terms are generally derogatory, and are linked to the humanist idea that the one Thousand years between the Classical Age and the Renaissance were somehow dark or barbaric. In actuality, however, European art from this period was rich and innovative. Drawing inspiration from the diverse cultures thriving in Europe at the time. What is the Great Mosque at Cordoba? During the 8th century, the Umayyad Caliphate reached as far east as India and as far west as Spain and Portugal, a region known in Arabic as Al-Andalus. The city of Cordoba was the capital of Al-Andalus and was home to one of the most impressive examples of mosque architecture in the Islamic world. 
the Great Mosque of Cordoba was one of the largest mosques ever built. It has no central altar or shrine, but features a prayer hall that reaches over 250,000 square feet. Besides its large size, the Great Mosque's prayer hall is notable for its use of hypo style. Creating the effect of a forest of columns that supports double rows. Of horseshoe shaped arches made up of red and white bricks, called voussoirs. As a result, the Great Mosque's hypo style hall feels immensely large. Artists and architects continued to work on the Great Mosque for over 200 years after its initial construction. Adding geometric marble carvings, grand mosaics, public fountains, and gardens. After Spain was conquered by Christians in the 15th century. The Great Mosque was converted into a cathedral. What are the main characteristics of Ottonian architecture? The Ottonian rulers emphasized their imperial strength and military prowess. Through the construction of monumental architecture reminiscent of ancient Rome, Churches of the period followed the basilica plan and featured wooden roofs, many of which burned down. The Church of St. Zariacus in Jern Road, Germany, begun in 961, is one of the best surviving examples of Ottonian architecture. The church architects placed a newfound focus on verticality which foreshadowed the leaping heights of much later medieval buildings. The Church of St. Zariacus features a second-floor gallery, clear story windows, and a west workay wall along the west end 74 of the nave, one of the key features of Ottonian church architecture. What is the Palace of Knossos? The mysterious Minoan culture is famous for the labyrinthine Palace of Knossos. Discovered on the island of Crete in 1900 by the British archaeologist Sir Arthur Evans. Evans called his discovery the Palace of Minos. Referring to the mythological maze which imprisoned the Minotaur. The Knossos Palace complex contained hundreds of rooms of various sizes and shapes, including storerooms, workrooms, and administrative rooms. One storeroom was so large, it could hold over 20,000 gallons of oil in jars. While the layout of the palace appears disjointed and confusing. Each space was designed to have access to fresh air and plumbing, and was elaborately decorated with wall paintings and frescoes. The palace appears to have been completely destroyed and rebuilt. And Minoan culture seems to have been severely disrupted by at least one major natural disaster. Possibly a catastrophic earthquake or volcanic eruption or both. What is Cufic? Named after the town of Kufa in Iraq, Cufic is an early form of Arabic script that evolved from a style of inscription used for coins and stone monuments. 
The Cupic script features large letters as early Kur ANS were often shared by multiple readers. And are characterized by long horizontal lines and thick rounded curves. Cupic was the style of calligraphy used most often until the 12th century. What is the Jero crucifix? The Jero crucifix is a life-size sculpture depicting the body of Christ on the cross. Made of gilded and painted wood and meant to be suspended above an altar. The back of Christ's head was hollowed in order to hold communion bread used in the ritual of the Eucharist, as opposed to the triumphant pose of Christ as seen on the book cover of the Lindau Gospels. This representation of Christ emphasizes suffering. Christ's head hangs heavily and his body appears limp and frail. This is the first time in history that an image of dead Christ was depicted on the cross. What is Aegean art? The term Aegean art refers to the art of three major Mediterranean cultures which predate ancient Greece. The Cycladic culture, the Minoans, and the Mycenaeans. Together, these groups are referred to as the Aegean civilization and flourished during the Bronze Age. C. 3000-1200 BCE, the Cycladic culture established itself on a group of small islands known as the Cyclades, while the Minoans lived on the island of Crete. The later Mycenaeans were based on mainland Greece. Aegean art is quite enigmatic and is characterized by lively sculptures and wall. Paintings which mirror the natural world and the warmth of the Mediterranean. What does Jain art look like? Jainism is an important religion in India, in addition to Hinduism. Though only a small percentage of Indians are Jainists. Jainists believe in the cycle of death and rebirth, called samsara, and attempt to live pure. Ascetic lives by looking inwards, avoiding material possessions, and acting kindly to others. At first glance, it may be difficult to distinguish Jain art from Buddhist and Hindu art. But one of the key types of Jain art is monumental nudes of meditating warriors, known as jinas. The ascetic Gamata in Karnataka, India is an example of this. At around 60 feet tall, this 10th century, colossal sculpture represents Gamata, who was famous for meditating for years without stopping. The figure of Gamata stands at attention with poised shoulders, confident chin, and stoic face. The sculpture's nudity, along with images of tree branches and creepers that curl around his limbs. Are meant to emphasize the genus focus on spiritual, rather than material needs. Sculpture such as the, the ascetic Gamata is used to aid Jainists in their own meditations. What is a Psalter? A 
A Psalter is a book containing the text of the Book of Psalms from the Old Testament. The most famous Carolingian Psalter is the Utrecht Psalter, known for its lively ink drawings. The manuscript was produced at the Imperial Scriptorium in Reims. In modern day France, in the first half of the 9th century. The illustrations of the Utrecht Psalter incorporate architectural and landscape scenes. And the text features Roman style majuscules. As psalms are not narrative, they are challenging to illustrate. The artists who created the Utrecht Psalter illustrated them. By expressively visualizing specific phrases from the text. What is cyclitic sculpture? The cyclitic culture, c. 3000 to 1200 BCE, is known for its ceramic figurines. Cyclitic artisans made their pieces out of various materials, from poor quality clay to marble and represented humans, animals, and other forms. Some of the most well-known cyclitic sculptures are of women. These pieces can range in size and are highly abstract and stylized. The surfaces are smooth with little carved detail facial. Features and other details would have been painted. In many examples, a figurine's only facial feature is a nose. While arms are crossed over the chest, as if the figure is either asleep or dead. One side of the figure is flat and the toes are pointed. An indication that the piece was meant to lie on its back. In fact, many of these sculptures have been found near graves raising the possibility that they served a funerary purpose, though their exact function is unknown. What is Arabic calligraphy? Beautiful calligraphy is very important in Islamic art and is a primary form of fine art and decoration. Calligraphy, or decorative handwriting, is used to decorate not only books and manuscripts, but also carpets, tapestries, and even architectural surfaces. The dome of the Great Mosque at Cordoba, for example is covered in mosaics which feature the curvilinear Arabic script. In Islam, writing is one of the most elegant and honored forms of art, and is linked to God's revelation to the Prophet Muhammad. In the Quran, God declares, recite, Thy Lord is the most generous, who hath taught by means of the pen hath taught man what he knew not. Kirlxi 8.1 as quoted in Janssen 281. 